Hi, it's Libby. I'm back on day two of my zero free plastic uh, challenge for 30 days. So I was doing well today. No plastic again. Went to the shop, went shopping, bought quite a lot of veggies for to make a big curry tonight, chickpea curry, which I've already had. Uh, with some rice which came from uh, real foods that came out of a compostable bag so again no um all zero free um i've got bay leaves in my garden which i put made some stock with some veggies and some a bit of garlic and herbs and things i made a nice some, some nice stock to make a soup tomorrow i think this is a way forward actually i think the secret of zero free is making your own stuff yeah Having the dry ingredients, fresh vegetables, being very, very healthy, probably more most vegan. So, you know, that is kind of the way to go. If you've got kids and you're buying processed food because it's quick, um, ask yourself why. Have you not got time to make a big batch of food, maybe freeze some of it, help you out? Also, using your own um, little containers to make lunches and things. Um, I've got a little glass jar with a not jar I like a little dish with a with a um, plastic um, pyrex and it's lasted me for absolutely years I've had it for a long long while and I'm it keeps it cool I put it in my little cooler bag and I make my own lunch every morning um, you know get the kids involved making things and they'll soon get the idea of this is the way it is and make it a part of your evening to make nice food for the kids rather than rushing in and throwing some processed food in the um, in the oven you know, I've had kids and I know what it's like. It is, it is difficult. So do what you can. Just get them involved and see what the, what, see how it goes. Um, also today, I picked up a load of free pears from the studio. Somebody left them in a big box and said, please help yourself. So grabbed a few pears. Um, some, I picked some um, blackberries this morning um, for lunch and also for um, my breakfast tomorrow. So that's all done. Um, what else have I done today? I bought a bike. I bought a, a new cycle, so that's kind of good. I went down to a place called Halfords, which is a bike shop, and bought a really nice um, hybrid bike. I've been looking for a bike for a long, long time. My son recommended this bike, so I went along, had a look. It's on offer at the moment, so I saved myself £70 off the bike, and uh, they're going to build it for me. I'm going to go and pick it up on Friday. So I should have my bike for the weekend, which will be lovely. Let's hope the weather's good. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm digging out some of my old cycling stuff. I used to cycle a lot when I was younger. And um, my friend said, oh, it's a long way from the shop to where you live. Will you be OK? Do you want me to pick you up and take you in the car? And I'm like, why? That's the idea of having a bike <laughs> to get fit. It's going to be a couple of big hills to go up and down, which... I've not used my bike for a long, long time. My old bike um, sort of had its day, really. It was in need of replacing. And I've stripped everything down off that old bike. I've took the bike carrier off. I've um, I've sprayed it so it looks brand new. Um, I've looked at the, the panniers that I have, and I've had them a long, long time. I'll probably reuse them. I'll get some reflective stripes and things on them so I can reuse them. And I've took the bell off and all the bits and pieces from the bike, so I'm recycling those. Okay, so I don't think there's much more for me to tell you today. Um, just keep trying to cook for yourself and cook for the family and not, um, you know, not buy processed foods. That is where we are going wrong. That's, you know, I've always said, um, I do some ladies groups and we talk about, you know, why women have to buy processed food. It's a, it is the time factor, you know, we are, we're all against the clock. Uh, but if you get organised, maybe once a week on a Sunday, just to sit down and um, look at what food you're going to make for the week, plan it a little bit better, um, cook, you know, cook ahead and also shop ahead. So I buy a lot of things, as I say, from this real food company. And it's, it's a really good way of cooking because you can, you've got all the dry ingredients then, and there's no need then to rush out and go and buy plastic in plastic bags. I've done it myself. You know, I've run out of rice and I've gone nip down to local supermarket. And, oh, I've got a bike because it's in plastic. And, um, you know, we all, we all have to do it sometime. But anyway, I'm going to wish you a really good evening. Hope you've had a nice day. Um, and hopefully we'll have a good day tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow for day three. 
and see how it's going. All right, then have a good evening. Bye.